Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Green Chili Pork Burritos. Well today we're gonna to be grilling off some country style pork ribs. We're gonna braise them in a salsa verde for hours until they're fall apart tender. Stuff that into a burrito, smother it with more salsa verde and cheese. We've got our work cut out for us. Let's start by firing up the grill. Today we're cooking on the Kamado Joe Classic 3. We've got it loaded up with some lump charcoal. So we're gonna get our Kamado fire starters lit up in here, get this charcoal fire going. We want a nice, hot, direct fire as we're gonna start off by charring up the ingredients for our salsa verde and then the pork itself. So while that grill's getting hot, let's go ahead and prep the ingredients for our chili verde, starting with the salsa verde. We're gonna do a pretty big batch of salsa because we're using it both in the braise and then after to smother the burrito. So what we're working with here is we've got a pound each of poblano and Anaheim peppers, some jalapenos, just cause I like that little bit of extra heat. A Couple pounds of tomatillos, we need to get these husked and washed off. And we've got some cilantro, garlic, and yellow onion. So we'll start with these tomatillas. We just wanna get the husk peeled off. And you'll notice that these are pretty sticky underneath. So also gonna rinse these in some cool water once we get all of these husks off. All right, so next we're gonna move on to these onions. Not much to do here. We just need to get, we're gonna do three onions total, one and a half are gonna go on the grill for this salsa. The other is gonna get sliced up for the braise. So for now, I'm just gonna get these quartered. And we'll set aside one and a half of these. The other one and a half will get peeled. And those are gonna go on the grill. All right, so let's get those quartered onions out of the way. The other one and a half, we're just gonna slice these. Like I said, they're gonna go in the braise. All right, so we can set those aside for now. We've got the charcoal going now. It's about 500 degrees in here currently. Get our grates in place. Get our tomatillos right here over the fire. You know what, I'm gonna go just a step lower. Really get these next to that fire. Okay, we got those grates down low now on the divide and conquer. We're gonna get our tomatillos These we're looking to just kind of get some char on them. They're going to start to soften up as well. Throw our peppers on as well. We have to work in a couple batches here maybe. But we'll load it up as best we can for now. And then those onions. So we wanna get the skins blackened on the peppers so that we can steam those and peel them off. We're gonna just look to get a little bit of char in our onions as well as the tomatillos. All right, we're starting to get some good color. Some charring going on. Just gonna turn things around. Flip some stuff over. We'll let it keep going. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for though. You want that skin to be blistered because it's gonna release really easy once we stick it into a bag and steam it. So some of these are done. Starting to get these peppers blackened, that skin's releasing. So those are gonna transfer over to a zip top bag where we can steam them. The rest of these we just need to roll around a bit. We start to pull out some of these charred up onions and tomatillos. So I've got good color they can come off. Now before we finish off our salsa verde, I just wanna switch gears real quick. We wanna get the pork on the grill as well. So we're gonna be braising this in the end, but we wanna give it that char from the grill before we get it into the braise. So let's season up our country style pork ribs. Now there's a couple different ways you'll see what's labeled as country style pork ribs, but essentially what this is, is it's just strips of Boston butt, the boneless portion of the pork shoulder. You may find here's a little bit of a blade bone attached so we can cut that off of there, you can pick it off later. But for the most part, 
You'll find these either boneless or with a little section of the blade bone in them. This is a nice fatty cut of pork. It's great for braising. It breaks down really nicely uh, during that braise while it's taking on all that flavor. So we're just gonna hit these with a little bit of oil as binder. This is a chili infused oil. I rub that around on the surface. And then we're gonna shake some of our Cattleman's Grill eight second ride carne asada on here. It's got a nice bit of heat to it. You can see that red color, those chili flakes, a lot of chilliness going on. I don't know if chilliness is a word, but I'm using it, it's chilliness. All right, so we'll just flip these over and get the other side, and then we'll head over to the grill. All right, so great still down low, putting this next to the charcoal, as close as we can get anyway. And we don't need to cook this through right now. All we really need to do is get some color on the outside. All right, we're gonna be bouncing back and forth from the grill to the table a little bit here, but I wanna to start to put together this salsa verde while the pork is grilling. Tomatillos are easy. We can just go straight into the blender with those. Now my onions, we just wanna get rid of any supercharred pieces. And a little bit of that's nice, a lot of it's bitter. And then we'll take that root off. You can give them a, a little chop. They don't need much. The blender's gonna do most of the work. Back to the pork now. See, we're getting some uh, fat flaming up here, which is great. We're gonna get that char on the surface that we're looking for. Let's get a little bit color on the opposite side and those will be good to go. So now we've got some garlic. We're gonna do about a dozen cloves of garlic. We just need to get those smashed and peeled and into the blender. All right, so just peel the skins off of those. No need to chop them up. They can go right into the blender. Yeah, these are looking fantastic. So let's go ahead and just pull those off. Again, these aren't cooked through. They're just charred on the surface a little bit. So don't worry that you're putting them back on a dirty pan. They're gonna get cooked in the Dutch oven. All right, so we're getting ready for that braising process. I'm gonna add a little bit more charcoal to keep the heat up. We can come up to the top of the divide and conquer system now. And we're gonna stabilize this around 400 degrees. Next, we've got a bunch of cilantro. I'm gonna save just a little bit for garnish later, but the rest, stems, leaves, and everything can all go into the salsa. All right, our peppers are coming out of the bag. You can see those are just steaming hot still. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take off the stems, take off the skin, and get the seeds out of there. So typically just split it open, scrape the seeds out, flip it over, and peel or scrape that skin off. And what you're left with is this really tender, smoky flesh of the pepper without that papery skin. All flavor. So we're just gonna break these down one by one and throw them in the blender. So going on to the Vitamix now, and we are gonna blitz this down. Add just a touch of vegetable stock to thin it out. Shake in just a little bit of kosher salt as well. And 
and we're just looking to get that pretty much smooth. Good taste. Oh, that's good. That is gonna make such a fantastic flavor base for this braise that we're getting ready to do on that pork. So let's get back to the pork. We need to cube it up and bring it all together. All right, so now we've got our pork. We're just gonna cut this into some large cubes. Now these are gonna hold together for a while, but eventually just really start to break down until you've got almost a shredded pork consistency. Unless you want them more firm than that, and you just don't cook them as long. All right, so we've got the Lodge 7 quart Dutch oven on the grill. It's been heating up here. We're gonna add a little bit more of that chili oil, just a tablespoon or two. We get down our sliced onions. You remember that we saved half of our onions earlier. Just gonna start to break these down a little bit and we'll build the rest of the flavors around it. In fact, we can go ahead and get our Mexicano seasoning in there. So we got our Cattleman's Mexicano. We're gonna do a quarter cup of that seasoning. So we got two quarts of salsa out of that recipe. I'm gonna pour off half of it. We're gonna save this for topping the burritos and or just eating with chips. And then the rest of this is gonna go in with the pork. So those onions don't need much of a head start. They're gonna have plenty of time to break down while they're braising with the pork. So let's go ahead and get that pork in there. Any of the ju juices that have collected as well. Tons of flavor in there. And then we're gonna pour our salsa over the top. And we're just gonna cover this now with some vegetable stock. And I started with two quarts of vegetable stock. We may or may not use all of that today, but essentially for now what we wanna do is get this pork all the way covered up and we'll save the last cup or two, but we can add that later if this starts to get dry. But essentially just gonna leave this to braise now. We can inject a little bit more smoke into this by adding a chunk of smoke to our coal bed. We're gonna throw a chunk of pecan wood down in there. So again, we're keeping this stabilized right around 400 degrees. So I almost forgot, guys, uh, a bottle of dark Mexican beer. It's an optional thing you can add, but I really like the flavor that it adds to the chili verde, so we're gonna pour that in as well. You'll be fine if you don't do this. Like I said, it's optional. Well, our pork's been cooking for about two hours now. We're really starting to see some progress, so I wanted to give you guys a little progress report Take a look at it, you can see what's going on, how everything's reduced down. At the same time, we're also gonna add in some potatoes. So you can see how that sauce is really thickened up. We're getting some cool browning on top because of those exposed areas of the pork. And if we kind of squeeze on this, you can see it's just about to where it can fall apart. So I didn't want to completely obliterate the potatoes so that they just completely melt in. So we're waiting until now to add in this pound of peeled, diced, russet potatoes. And we're just gonna let those cook until they're tender and then this is gonna be done. We might add in just a touch more stock at this point just to make sure we keep those potatoes submerged. And I am gonna give us a little bit more charcoal as we're starting to just dip down below that 400 mark. All right, we'll close it up. Well guys, it's been another half hour now, about two and a half hours total cook time. Our potatoes are tender, our sauce is reduced down, and that pork is just ready to fall apart.
So there's a chunk of that pork. We squeeze it. Look at that. Perfectly tender. Potatoes also tender now. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Now at this point you absolutely could take this green chili pork and assemble your burritos and finish it out. Or you have the option of waiting. Green chili is actually one of those dishes that can be even better the next day. And for us, we're running out of time on this shoot day, so we're gonna pick this back up in the morning. All right, guys, we are back and ready to assemble these burritos and finish them off on the grill. All right, so I've got some large flour tortillas here just wrapped in damp paper towels and plastic wrap, and I just throw those in the microwave. It makes them nice and pliable, much easier to assemble the burrito. And we've got our green chili pork and potatoes warm back up in the Dutch oven. I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff these just about as full as we can. We top them with a little bit of pepper jack and some sharp cheddar. So this recipe should produce about eight of these burritos. We'll probably go ahead and make up about six of them today. You'll have some leftover green chili pork that you can eat over rice or whatever for lunch the next day. All right, so we're gonna finish these burritos off in our 12 inch skillet here. We've got that leftover salsa verde that we saved yesterday. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit of that down. Arrange our burritos right on top. We should be able to stuff six of them in here. And then we're gonna come over the top with our salsa. Kind of get those smothered in that sauce. And then we're gonna top that off with a little bit more cheese. Pepper jack and the cheddar. All right, back to the Kamado Joe now. It's sitting right around 400 degrees, just like we left it yesterday. Same setup as when we actually cooked the green chili. Now the difference is today, once we get this on here, I'm gonna close the top all the way and kind of trap that heat in there so that we can get some browning on the top of our burritos. Well, these burritos have been in for about 20 to 30 minutes now. Cheese is starting to melt all over the top, so we're ready to pull these out. All right, let's go ahead and plate one up. I really love to finish this burrito off like I'm eating in a cafe in Colorado with a couple of eggs right on top. A little bit of cilantro on top. Crumble that cotija cheese. Take a look at that. Looking pretty. Let's not use, lose all that yolk there. Oh man. Gotta, gotta get a bite of that. Mmm. That will warm your bones. Man, that is delicious. I love that green chili flavor. All those peppers, the tomatillos, the cilantro. It's got just the right tanginess to it. And that pork is just falling apart, tender. Man, it's all made even better by that last little stint on the grill because the bottom of those burritos kind of gets this crust on it. And then of course, gotta love a couple eggs on top. I wouldn't even save this just for breakfast. I eat that any time of day. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.